Hello, my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a cash stuffing of $935. I'm going to put my calculator over here to the side and take out the cash. I went to the bank and I had my denominations already figured out on this cash planning sheet from the Aesthetic Dollar. This is her, the name right here. These are digital downloads that I purchased. I purchased them in a bundle and these I just cut out. They come in, I think you get, you get about six on a regular sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11. I just, you know, cut them out by hand and this is what I use as my teller slips. But when I went to the bank, they didn't have enough 50s, which is bizarre to me because it's a bank. They're supposed to have money in every denomination. I will, I will never understand that, but here we are. Okay, so again, I take this, I hand this over to the teller slip so that she can give me these denominations, um, you know, the totals in the, in this quantity. And so here we are. So we should have four $100 bills for a total of $400. So we have that, we have two 50s, and then we have, we should have 1721. Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I totally miscounted that. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen twenties, and then we have nine ten dollar bills. So that's ninety dollars total. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we only have um, one five dollar bill. And this is our cash stuffing for about two weeks. Some of them, and my cash stuffing is not traditional. I know some people do monthly cash stuffings or weekly cash stuffings. I do cash stuffings really for anywhere from one to a three week period. So some of these are going to cover three weeks. Some of them are gonna cover once a month, right? It's just depending on how I set up my budget. So I'm just going to move this over. And we are going to stuff high priority. This is probably the only binder I really have, to be honest with you. I don't really keep a lot of binders because it's just confusing to me. And we don't have a lot of expenses or we don't have a lot of things that we need to put to the side because we have a high yield savings account and that's where a lot of our bigger savings go. So let's get through this. For groceries, we are going to put 150 and we're going to use 100. 220s and a 10 and this is for next week's groceries but let me check in with all of you i wanted to see how everyone was doing i usually post on a sunday but yesterday was this whole weekend was a very busy weekend we um we take care of my mother-in-law um, probably like twice a month we bring her to our home and she stays here for the entire weekend and because of that, I was not able to do much of anything for myself or what I normally do. So um, unfortunately, you guys, I'm sorry, but I was not able to re record or upload yesterday. And um, we love having her over. You know, our elderly really need to be shown love and affection. She's 84 and she can do for her own. She lives by herself. But we just try our best to keep her busy. Uh, she needs stimulation and people and community and love. And, um, you know, we try to do that as a family. So for gas, we're going to put in $50 for the week. And so, cause I have to go into the office a couple of days this week. So I need a little bit of extra gas. And then for eating out, we are going to do a hundred. We've been really, really good about how we um, how we spend our money in terms of eating out because most of it goes into alcohol. I don't drink. I haven't had a single ounce of alcohol in five years and I'm super proud of myself for that. It was not easy. My husband, however, does drink. He doesn't drink a lot, but he likes some pretty bougie expensive drinks. So, um, most of our, most of our, um, eating out costs are really for the alcohol because I don't eat meat, lactose intolerant, and I'm allergic to shellfish. So 
No surf and turf for me. I am pretty basic and simple. So we're going to stuff $100. So 20, 60, 80, 90, 100. Sorry for my sniffles. But here we are. Okay, so how has everyone been doing? How have you guys been in the last week? I feel like I haven't been on here in a while and wanted to check in for self-care for my nails because they're overdue. I get them done probably once a month. Depending on my travel, I try to go maybe every, I try to stretch it out to every four weeks, but sometimes I have to do it on the three week mark. And so this is for my nails and that's going to get a total of $55 and this includes the tip. I love my nail tech. She is the sweetest and she was so cute. She even invited my husband and I to her wedding. It was beautiful. I had never been to an Asian wedding and it was a good time. They know how to party. And so here we are. Let's see, self-care is $55. And then you guys know my husband because he is who he is. He gets 520s, he gets his allowance, one, two, three, four, five, and this is probably going to last him about two weeks. He loves to get his coffee. What I love about him, there are many things I love about him, but one of the things that I do appreciate is that he stopped going to main chain coffee stores. And really when he travels, because he is on the road a lot for work. And so when he's on the road, he tries to focus on going to mom and pop coffee shops and support them. So most of his money goes towards that. So he'll have this for two weeks and he'll be super happy. For me, I am not doing a lot of spending because I'm working from home and I'm going into the office and I don't need to spend a lot of money. So for myself, I'm only giving myself $50 and this may last me for two weeks maybe, if not more. Let's see here. Um... So that's that. For cleaning, we have a cleaning service. Let's see where is cleaning. Maintenance, I still haven't taken my car. This is this is from last month's cash stuffing. So I haven't scheduled my oil maintenance on my car. So that's going to stay there. Giving, I already have this in my wallet. And then we have a cleaning service and they are due to come in the second week of April. So we are going to stuff $200 for that. They come once a month. And so we have, okay, this is going to be a challenge because I said I had 250. So this is what I'm going to do. How many hundreds do I have here? All right. Um, 50. We're going to do, this is what we're going to do for this, for the 200 for now. I may have to take out some money from here because I like to give them large bills, but we're going, it's $200. So 100, 150, 70, 90, $200. And this is for cleaning. They do such an amazing job and I do not regret doing that one bit. It is something that um, I had been wanting to do. And my daughter was actually the one that convinced me to do it because I travel a lot for work and my husband and I are super busy and really it's just the two of us so we don't have a lot of craziness happening here in the house let me grab a marker real quick all right so we are now going to stuff a hundred envelope challenge so going back to my cleaning service I realized that I was taking up a lot of my own personal time to clean because I am very particular in how I clean and so we found this cleaning service and we absolutely love them. Okay, so for envelopes, we are going to stuff a total of $200. And the three envelopes that we are going to cover for this is 99, 98, and number three. And that brings us to a total of $200. And so here we are. Back when I started this challenge last year, I had envelopes from Dollar Tree and I would stuff each individual envelope with the, the quantity. But what I found was when I went to actually cash those in was that 
I had a lot of $1 bills. I had a ton of $1 bills and that was annoying. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to take the total of however many envelopes I have and that's the total that I'm going to put in here and then I'll check off the, the boxes on this tracker here. My goal is to really start from the bottom up. I really want to tackle these larger numbers up because we all know that these are the hardest ones. So I want to tackle these first and that is my $100 challenge. And then for savings, we are going to save, oops, hold on, I'm going, I'm going too fast here. And what I'll do is off camera, I will fill out the, the legends here, I'll, the ledgers, I will complete these with the quantities. And then for savings, for savings, we are going to do $20. So here's 20. And that brings that total 20, 30, 40. So we now have $40 in savings. And let's find a prettier color, shall we? Because that other color that I picked that day was awful. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure if it's because it's the paper. But let's do this color. This is cute. I'm not tied to a particular color on these. So there it is. We have $40 in my tracker, my savings tracker. And then over here, we're not doing a lot of savings, sinking funds, savings trackers this year. Uh, we're just trying to put most of our money in our high yield savings accounts just because we get more bank for our buck when it's inside of that type of savings okay so we did ten dollars here and then for this week we're going to do ten dollars that brings our emergency total to twenty dollars let me just say this right if you're following the gordon ramsay not the gordon ramsay he's a chef the dave ramsay method for emergency funds, he says you should have about $2,000 of emergency fund. I, I agree and disagree with that simply because if you, you know your monthly costs, you know what, you're, what you need as a bare minimum for your monthly costs. An emergency fund for me is a fund that you have in the back of your pocket so that should something happen, should you lose a job, should something happen, you know, with regarding medical, that you need to come up with money to fulfill your four walls and the bills associated with that for at least three months. So that number is going to differ for a lot of people. And we already had that in a separate account. So this is just extra emergency funds. So we now have $20 for that. So here we have our emergency fund. So, you know, you handle your emergency fund as you see fit. You know your own budget, you know your family's needs, and you know what you guys spend on a monthly basis. I am not particularly tied to a specific amount. I know that Dave Ramsey says you should have at least $2,000. That is a goal to start. I think that that is a good way to start. But if that's not enough for your monthly income, for your monthly expenses, then just bump that up and do a savings tracker according to that. If you guys want more information on savings trackers or sinking funds, I do have a video on that if you wanna watch. This is all that I have for you for, for today. That's a total of $935 that we just stuffed. And that is it. This should hold us over for the next two weeks, two to three weeks, and then I'll come back with another cash stuffing when that time comes up. I'm wishing you all a fabulous day. Be well, be safe, and until the next one, see you next Sunday. Adios.